Welcome to my favorite restaurant in El Punco to take kids. And you know why it's my favorite restaurant? Because kids get to come down here and play in the sand and on the rocks while we're waiting for food and they're not getting in trouble at the table. Hola! So for this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool place, the restaurant founded by one of the founding families of El Punco. This is before El Punco was, oh, El Punco. It's called Cielo Mar. Let's go check it out. The service in Salvadoran restaurants is always top notch. I have a special place in my heart for mom and pop family owned businesses. Wow, check out that food. I wonder if the owner's was surfing after much of the eat. And look, they even have a nani tree. If you've ever wondered what they look like, now you know. Okay, outside of the amazing views that this restaurant has, is they have drinks. And in El Salvador, they have a frozen, and then they have a, just a jugo or licuado, or lemonada, that makes sense. What they'll call them. The frozen just means it's, it's, it's like a smoothie, it's with ice. Whereas just a jugo or licuado is usually just juice. And so here, I have a maracujá frozen, and a strawberry frozen and I love how much they give you and this unlike most Salvadoran restaurants don't necessarily give you kind of that that plate of chips or the the bread that you get at Olive Garden you know or the chips that you get in a Mexican restaurant but this place does they give you kind of nice and all up a cute little fish plate That's some good maracuja. That's the other thing you can never get. The best passion fruit is always local. Like, I didn't really get passion fruits in the States, but passion fruit here, like fresh from the vine, is amazing. We explored the premises while waiting for our food, and the beach was beautiful. And of course, there's a spot to rinse off the kids after they've played in the sand. As you can see, the menu has everything under the sun that you could think would come from a restaurant by the sea. Check it out. And this is octopus. And next. Isn't this fun? That is a whole new way of doing kebabs, isn't it? Fish. I'm excited. That's not good. And before you think about going from the beach to the pool, it's strictly for decorative reasons only. Okay, you guys know if you follow me, I'm not a seafood fan. I have a rule in my family that you have to try one bite. Because you know, as you grow up, your taste change. So you never know. So here's my one bite of octopus. I'll close my eyes. Okay, it wasn't bad. I didn't get. The flavoring on the outside was awesome. It was like a butter garlic sauce, but it's still octopus and incredibly chewy and takes a long, long time. Yeah, I did it. Aren't you proud? Okay, and here's the fish. Now this is a boca colorado fish or a colored mouth fish. That's obviously not what it's called in English, but I don't know what it's called. So here we go. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. It's really like light and flaky. And it doesn't have any fishy taste. It's the fishy kind of taste that turns me off about fish. But that doesn't have any fishy taste. Not bad. On the weekends, artists come and play on top of this platform. It'd also be a great place to do a proposal. I found El Salvador. Hey, Cecil. Okay, and now for the kebabs, my favorite. Here we go. The shrimp is. This place may be changing my mind about seafood because the way they flavor it is delicious. I still have issues with texture, but hold up, that's not their fault. Because this is some pretty good. Now for the steak. Now they gave me this chimichurri sauce. No, no, I tried my steak. Now. 10 out of 10, and the chimichurri, 10 out of 10. Hands down. This place definitely knows how to flavor each stuff. Okay, so these little discs are not homemade tortilla chips. These are actually tostones. And what they are is they are a plantain, which is like the big brother of the banana. And then they flatten the plantain slice out as much as they can, and then they fry it up. And that's what a tostone is. So, I loaded this one up with veggies, and we're going to see how they go. The veggies are perfect. They have the perfect amount of salt to lemon juice ratio, and the tostone is not... Like, to do a tostone, you can't have it too thick, or else it's like soft in the middle. It's kind of weird. And you can't have it so thin that it breaks like a chip. So these are practically perfect because I had no breakage, and there's nothing soft in the middle. Bien hecho, cielo, mar. Okay, so you know this is the playa, Mahagual. Okay, in other words, this is the beach that's right next to El Tunco. There's a little river that comes out, and El Tunco is on the west side, and on the east side of that river is this playa, Mahagual. And you can tell because the sand here is black. It's a black sand, kind of like a Hawaii. Uh, but over in El Tunco, they have a whole, it's a lot more, it's a pebble beach, depending upon the time of year. And the sand is not this dark. When the sand is there, it's more grayish. I love it, it's pretty dang cool, huh? Okay, so for my final review of Cielo Mar, I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 10, they get an 8. Because, number one, the beach right down there that the kids can play at while you're waiting for your food. Number two, just the view and the atmosphere. It's so nice and laid back. And then number three, the food was amazing. Um, and here I'll rate the food from my favorite to my least favorite. I think definitely the steak was awesome. So my favorite was the steak. Then probably actually the fish. I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a seafood lover, try the poco colorado. Then the chicken, then the shrimp, and last the poco. And I don't know if I'll ever like poco. No, uh, sorry, octopus. I don't like, I don't know if I'll ever like octopus. I haven't yet, and I'm 46. So that may never happen. Anyway, and then fourth reason why I love this place, it's a great family-run business from a family that I'm a little part of. And the fifth reason why I love Cielo Mar is because it's big and expansive and the ambience really nice. And El Tunco, I love El Tunco, but a lot of El Tunco is really crammed and tight. And I like how open and wide and it's just a nicer ambience. So the next time you're coming down to El Tunco, 
stop in La Playa Mahewal right before you go over the bridge and grab a bite to eat here at Cielo Mar. I am Jen Rensat. Travel more, live more, be more. And if you'd like to see other parts of El Salvador or if you have any questions about El Salvador, put them in the comments and I will try and make a video or answer them if I know the answer. But you have to subscribe so that you'll see the video when I answer your question. See ya. I can't get the cherry out. Dang it. Okay. I gave up and just drank it.